Mexico City tour bus for this price? No, I like this one better. Avoid the Mexico City hop-on, hop-off bus. Do this instead. Learn how to get around Mexico City for cheap. We'll go over the best of the four Mexico City Turibu circuits and how you can copycat that circuit on the Metro bus for like 3% of the price. Stick around to the end because I'm going to show you a crucial tip for your safety in Mexico City from someone who actually lives here. Hey, it's Sarah. I've lived in Mexico for 10 years and I am your guide to authentic experience in Mexico. Make sure you grab my Explore Mexico City cheat sheet down below. The main tour bus in Mexico City is called the Turibus and it has four different circuits. Mexico City is huge, so one circuit simply isn't enough. However, I feel that we don't even need to worry about three of the four circuits. I'm going to go over the first three circuits that we're not talking about today and a quick reason why I don't feel that we need to go over them. The first one is the Polanco circuit. This circuit mainly takes you to the really expensive shopping malls in Mexico City, but there are two places on the route that I recommend you visit. One would be the Museum of Anthropology, which you can get to on the Metro bus at the station Anthropologia. And the other place is the Sumaya Museum. You can get there in an Uber. One of the other lines that I think you don't need to even consider for the Turibus is the Coyoacan circuit. If you'd like to see my personal experience on the Coyoacan circuit, check out the video up in the cards. There are a couple of highlights in Coyoacan that I think you should do if you're interested in. Number one, most people like the Frida Kahlo Museum, take an Uber to get there. Some people like downtown Coyoacan, which is in that video I just mentioned, take an Uber to get there and the World Trade Center. If you're into that, you can take the Metro bus to get there. If you're concerned about how to use the Metro bus, remember, I made a guide all about how to use it. I teach you how to get around, how to get your tickets, how to navigate the system, how to transfer. Check out my ultimate guide to the Metro bus after this one. The third circuit that I don't think you need to worry about is the Basilica de Guadalupe circuit. If you really want to go to this Basilica, just take an Uber to get there. And finally, today we're going to be talking about that fourth circuit I haven't mentioned yet. Historic downtown, also known as El Centro. You absolutely do not need to take the Turibus to do the historic downtown circuit. And in fact, I encourage you not to. Let's jump into the computer and I'm going to show you how to copycat the historic downtown circuit using the Metro bus. As you can see, we are at the Turibus website, Turibus dot com dot mx i've simply checked roots and cdmx is what i've clicked that's an acronym for mexico city so let's go through that together scroll down to roots and as i mentioned there are four routes in mexico city the one we're concerned with here is the historic center circuit that's the centro histórico in spanish let's check that out and i want to show you the similarity of this route to the metro bus route what we're interested in is this map. So take a look here at the map. Check out this, the shape of this map here. You see the red line that comes up? That's the Turibus circuit. Here we're going to Metrobus. This is the Metrobus map. You see any similarities in the shape? Yeah, that's because it's basically the same route. There are a couple of minor, minor differences, but pretty much the Turibus and the Metrobus route are the same. Now, in this video, I am not going to go over every single stop here on the Turibus route because they literally mimic some of the Metrobus stops. And I actually list that for you in my Mexico City cheat sheet. This is toward the end of my Explore Mexico City cheat sheet. And here you have the Turibus stops and the corresponding stop on the Metro bus line seven. So make sure you grab that so you can download this and get it all listed there for you. We're gonna focus mostly on everything here that says Hidalgo. I'm gonna walk you through today how you can get around this area at Hidalgo. This is the Turibus map. And if you look here, can you see how this is Alameda Central? Parque Alameda, this is exactly what we're looking at over here. I've just been able to zoom in more on this map. We're actually going to take you also to this one, the Monument to the Revolution. That is right here. See the little red circles? That's a Turibus stop. Just to be clear, we're covering numbers 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 
all in one shot. And really, I encourage you to stick to this area for your day. This is such a cool place to visit. Over here, this stop is number eight, Juarez Hemicycle Fine Arts Palace. Oops, that's over here. You can see over Juarez Hemicycle is right here where it says Hemicycle to Juarez. You can walk there from the Metro bus. That's right here. You get off, you walk straight into the park. You can't miss it. And then you just walk around the park and you'll run straight into the hemicycle to Benito Juarez. This is also a lovely walk. This this park is very comfortable, especially if you visit in around March, April. We're going to come back over to the Turibus. So we've got number eight out of the way. And the next stop is Constitution Square, Socalo. This is admittedly a bit of a walk. So if you have mobility issues, this might be a bit of a struggle for you. But if you don't, it's actually a pretty cool place to walk. Now, admittedly, there are a lot of people, but here's how you're going to do it. There's two different options. All you have to do is walk straight. This street is called Madero, and it is a pedestrian-only street. However, it does have an awful lot of people. I do think it's worth it. If you can put up with the amount of people, it's worth it so you can walk through and take pictures. You can also walk down. So if you're walking straight ahead from just like we did here, just simply turn and you could walk down over here. This is also a pretty cool area to walk. It's a little bit more of a walk, but over here in the corner, you get the post palace, which you can see up in the video up in the cards after this one, which is free. I and mean, you can also just walk straight down into Sokolo again. It takes you around the back, which is also kind of a neat area. So that's how you can get there. If you prefer to take the Metro, you can do that too. If you'd like to take the Metro, there's a stop here, but they also don't tell you there's an entrance here. There's an entrance like over here. There's an entrance on this side. There's an entrance right here. So if you prefer to just skip the walk down Marero and just get straight in, you can get on Bellas Artes, get in the, on the blue line, okay? Because Bellas Artes has two different lines. And then you can go to Socalo Tenochtitlan. It's, it's two stops. So you're going to come on the blue line. Doesn't matter which, which um, entrance you enter. Just make sure you get on the blue line. You're going to go to Allende, and then it'll take you to Socolo Tenochtitlan. This is a couple of minutes on the metro. So it's a, if you have the time, it's probably like a 20-minute walk. It's a little bit of a stressful walk because the amount of people. Um, if you don't feel like taking the time, go metro. Go on the metro blue line a couple of stops, and you're there. Do you want Spanish classes with a native speaker? Check out senoracerasclassroom.com or click the link in the description below. Coming back to the Turibus circuit, all it's doing is looping back around the back of Alameda. That's where you just were. Plaza Manuel Tolso. So we're skipping number 10. There's nothing there. It's just behind Bellas Artes. The next one here is the Franz Meyer Museum. You don't really need to go to a special stop for that. This is where you already were in Alameda. If you really wanna see the Franz Meyer Museum, just cross Alameda Park, which is a lovely walk, and you can cross the street carefully, <laughs> and there's the Franz Meyer Museum. I will advise you that there are currently, at the time of this recording, a number of homeless people seems like living in the entrance park area. If you're comfortable with that <laughs> and you really want to see this museum, pop in. The last thing I wanted to show you on this portion of the Turibus route was the Monument to the Revolution. That's number 12, Monument to the Revolution. There's actually a better way. This is very walkable, by the way. Everything I'm showing you here is very flat. And the best way that I would tell you to go here is if you're standing at the Hemicycle to Benito Juarez, it's a straight shot, straight shot down this. This way you won't get lost. You can literally walk straight into it. You can actually see it. If you're standing right about here, uh, right about here in front of the Hilton, there's a Hilton hotel right here. You can see the monument to the revolution from the Hilton Hotel. By the way, bonus tip, this Hilton Hotel here, this is where you wanna go to the bathroom. Bathrooms are a big issue in Mexico City. So all you gotta do is just walk in, walk straight back. Don't ask any questions, don't talk to anybody. Walk straight back like you own the place and the bathrooms are almost in the back. You can't miss them. So just walk straight back like you're gonna walk out the back of the building and you'll find the bathrooms. So that's how you mimic the majority of the historic downtown center circuit of the Turibus. The Metro bus currently costs six pesos. It is easy and it is much more affordable 
and faster than the Turibus, and it runs m for longer. So the Turibus, I think, ends at like 7 p.m. The Metro bus runs to like midnight, something like that. So here's your quick bonus tip for safety in Mexico City. This might seem obvious, but I feel like it needs to be said. Make sure you are discreet when you're in Mexico City. What does that mean? Basically, I want to tell you, don't be loud. I was recently at an event with a lot of foreigners in the hood in Mexico City, and you could tell right away who lives in Mexico City and who does not. The ones that don't live in Mexico City were exiting the building super loud, laughing and shouting. It was cool to see that they were happy, but the one, those of us that live in Mexico City, we don't do that. We already draw a lot of attention. You don't need to draw more attention to yourself by being loud and rambunctious out in the streets of Mexico City. When you walk through the streets here in Mexico and you hear somebody speaking English, it it's almost like hearing glass shatter. It's so it's, It just stands out so extremely. Be aware of how loud you are being when you are with your group in the streets. Make sure that you are a little bit more quiet and aware as you're navigating the streets of Mexico City. Now you understand how to copy the historic downtown Turibu circuit using the much more affordable and faster Metro bus. Make sure you subscribe to be notified about my next video coming out soon and binge watch the rest of my content about Mexico City. Thank you so much for being here. Hasta luego.